good afternoon, good evening. I am so glad you are with me whenever you are able to join me. I'm Dr. Jan, this is Russell Institute of Learning Sidebar Education, and we are making a tour of a parent's prayer program. We have already gone through numbers one through eight, and so you can go back and you can find this either on Facebook, YouTube, and I'm pretty sure it's also on LinkedIn. So if you've missed those, go back and check them out. Because today we are going to start with number nine. And each one of these, remember, we've looked at a parent who wants to not just have the same rote prayer night after night, and that as we are praying, we are being specific and targeting what are the qualities and characteristics that we are praying for our children to gain and I am just I am a firm believer that we need to be specific in our prayers so number nine we are praying for our children to have respect for self others and authority and we say father grant that my children may show proper respect to everyone as your word commands I really do appreciate living here in the Bahamas because on our small island it is still yes sir yes ma'am thank you please and we don't want to lose that and we need to make sure respect respect for self how do you dress how do you take care of your hair you know there's a lot of things that we can do respect for your homework showing up with it clean and neat so we're going to pray for respect for self others and authority number 10 biblical self-esteem help my children develop a strong self-esteem that is rooted in the realization that they are God's workmanship created in Christ Jesus. Ephesians 2.10 You know, I don't think I knew that till I was an adult. And I knew that God loved me. I knew a lot of things, but I don't think I understood about the biblical self-esteem. That through Christ I can do all things and really believe it and know that I was his workmanship. I was the apple of his eye. And when we as children don't realize that, we don't tend to make some of the best choices because we're always going around wanting to, to make ourselves known. So let's please pray for our biblical self-esteem for our children. Number 11, faithfulness. Let love and faithfulness never leave my children, but bind these twin virtues around their necks and write them on the tablet of their hearts. Faithfulness. That's a big one. And I know in college, um, we had a boys dorm and a girls dorm. You know, they were separated and um, our boys were, uh, their title and their name was White Horse. The girls, we were faithful and true. And I do believe faithfulness has been a characteristic that has followed me throughout my life. If I say I'm going to do it, I will make every effort. If I can't, I will try to resolve that. And it's like, yes, I don't want to not keep my word. Faithfulness. And number 12 for today, passion for God. Lord, please instill in my children a soul with a craving for you, a heart that clings passionately to you. So that's seek the Lord with all your heart. That's what we want to do. Teach that to our children so that they long for God because he says, when you seek me, you will find me. He is not playing hide and seek. Thank you for joining me today on Russell Institute of Learning, Sidebar Education, and I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Please make sure you follow, like, share, and comment. Bye.